great. Managed to find this really nice looking alligator snapping turtle. He's gonna come after me, go down this kind of block thing here. Uh, you can see this is probably, this is about probably a uh, 11 inch turtle. Um, healthy looking animal. Even though this is about the size of an adult common snapping turtle, this is still just a juvenile. These guys get so large and they're so long lived takes a long time to become mature. So I'm gonna let this guy go back into the stream and I'm uh, gonna keep looking and see what else I can find. But really awesome turtle. Peace. This time of year, these become a common sight. I think I've featured these before on the channel. Walked just a little bit downstream and found him trying to find another place to hide. Good shot of this guy in habitat. Looks really, really cool. And you can see that, you know, when they're in a bunch of branches and stuff, they have an ability to really blend in. Uh, obviously, if you're watching this channel, you know what an alligator snapping turtle looks like. But, you know, if he was kind of shoved up in those branches a little bit more, uh, you wouldn't really even recognize that that's an animal. All right, so right after that alligator snapper, I found something that I always love to find. A little baby spiny softshell turtle. And this is the time of year when you're starting to see the little baby turtles come out. And this is one of the ones that I really like to find. The little baby softshells are just so cool. The baby softshells are just these perfect little versions of the adults. They already have the instinct to cover themselves up, to bury in the sand. And I mean, as you can see, they're just as cute as can be. Look at that little face. That is such a cute little turtle. I don't know if it gets any cuter than baby soft shells. Amazing. I'm so glad I found this. I'm going to leave this guy right here, but really stoked. Uh, as these guys get older, um, the females will start to develop a camouflage pattern where the males will can kind of continue to have more of that polka dot pattern. Uh, so you can actually sex these guys at a pretty early age, which is really neat. But like I said, I'm just going to leave this guy here, maybe shoot a photo or two. And I'm gonna keep looking because there's probably more baby turtles out. All right, right here, little turtle. Let's see what we get. It is just a tiny little loggerhead musk turtle. Look at that little guy. Just a little loggerhead musk hiding out in his little creek. All right, buddy, you can go back in. checking out this awesome habitat along a um, pond that's full of cattails and I look down and I see this guy what a pretty male eastern box turtle we were both kind of going our own way he was going that way I was going the other way and I look down and there he is really awesome to be able to see eastern box turtles I feel like I don't see them that much anymore uh, it's awesome because I'm not really that far from my house which is not that far from pretty much an urban area and to see a healthy eastern box turtle like this Perfect condition, perfect example. Just makes me so happy. Love seeing Eastern box turtles. They are the coolest. And my favorite place to see them is in the wild where they belong. All right, so this here is the habitat that that box turtle was next to. And it's like this really neat cattail filled kind of floodplain pond uh, where it's just really saturated boggy ground and perfect habitat for an Eastern box turtle to come soak up a little bit of water, get hydrated and then continue uh, running along through the woodlands and uh, really awesome habitat. You can kind of see where different kind of creatures have gone through this grass and left little trails, uh, telltale signs. So really, really cool and awesome habitat. All right, tell me if you can see it. Not far from the other male. I have this female right here in the grass in front of me. This is a very box turtle heavy habitat, I, I would think, with all the water and kind of the low areas and all the cover. It's a perfect place for box turtles to exist and they love that. They love the open canopy and some forest and just perfect eastern box turtle habitat. You can see it's a uh, very typical of a female. Got the dark eyes, dark coloration overall. Uh, you can tell she's quite a bit older than the other box turtle by having that smooth shell. So she could definitely be uh, very, very old uh, and good for her. Good for her for living here for a long time and doing really well and you know probably producing lots of other little box turtles all right so right here i spotted a little soft shell 
moving along this edge. Let me see if I can find him. There he is, right there. I don't know if you can see that, but he is right there. Come here, buddy. Fresh hatch, spiny soft shell. Pretty little guy. It's always neat to find these guys when they're this small. And this one was just creeping along this edge right here. Shallow water. Baby turtles love shallow water and lots of cover. So just gonna let this little guy go. See you later, friend. It's gonna disappear. There's a cooter fighting through the current. I don't think it necessarily knows I'm here. I can't tell if she's eating algae and plants off of the rocks or if she's just trying to get up the current. Oh, it looks like she's eating. You can kind of see her head right there. I guess she's just eating plants off the rocks. Oh. oh, and that eye appears to be damaged. So this turtle actually has no clue I'm even here. Because it can't see me because that eye has some damage to it. So it's blind on this side. So uh, has no clue down here. So I move. Alright, see you later. See you later, friend.